it's swinging from the ceiling. There's a bit of metal there to stick you on, but it's swinging. Um, Tuesday the 5th of March. We're, uh, I haven't been back out and done any more field work since the last time I was videoing. It's been raining again, surprise, surprise. So I've just been odd, doing odd jobs around the yard the last couple of days. Um, we had a bit of a, well, we had a bit of tree blow down the other day, so, which is in the field. So I've just cut the trunk bit down, as you've probably just seen. <laughs> You're swinging all over the place. I'll stick you on there a bit better. Hi, Bauer. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to go and do some field work tomorrow. I think SCS are coming out to do a inspection on the fertilizers binner tomorrow. So we'll have to go out and the, we'll have to go out in the grass field for that. I'll take this round and put it on the bonfire. They're old uh, horse chestnut trees, and they've, well, they're dead now. That one there on the left is dead as well. I think they got disease and died. Dump that on the fire there, and I'll go and get the other one. Loaded two, lo two grain loads of wheat this morning. One of the lorries. I accidentally drove on the grass on the way out, made a right mess. Tied it up in a minute. It's quite nice though, because there's a little oak tree growing here that will fill in, fill in the gap, so that's quite nice. I'll go and get the main part of this tree when the field's dry enough to drive into, which might not be for a couple of weeks. Wednesday today. Um, it's been a dry day so far. It's a rare thing, but it's happening. Oh, we've got a new pipe. Let's see if we can get this down. Oh, that was quick. Um, yeah, we're up at farm two. We're going to see if we can put some more liquid in on the on the barley, on the winter barley. It's tricky. Oh, that has got stuck. Uh, look at that. We should be able to turn this on and not have any leaks. Perfect. I put the um, pump into gear and stuck it in. Yeah, I just had to put the school valve into constant pump to, t to put the pump in gear. Oh, we have got a little leak. Uh, switch that to that, it'll suck it in. Um, yeah, we've got no PTO. The, the pump is driven uh, hydraulically. There's a lot of pressure in the tank. So... I'm not surprised it dripped a little bit. It's got a digital display for quantity in the tank, which is quite good. That's something the Bateman didn't have. I guess you can probably spec a Bateman with it, but our, our the Bateman that we had did not have it. Just zero that, and then that's ready for the next field then. That'll probably be enough. I'm worried I'll sink out of sight if I put too much weight on. Shut that off. Let a bit of air in. It empties the pipe out then. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I thought I'd make a video this week, because I thought if I get stuck, then getting pulled out by the ATAR will make quite a good video. I've got 4,000 litres of fertiliser in there, which weighs 
5.2 tonne, so um, there's every possibility we could get stuck. Once it's dry enough, uh, in the next few days, Simon's going to come up with a cultivator and put all this up, because I've got to put spring beans in it. I'm going to drive for a puddle. Um, it was cultivated in the last summer, but it's had so much rain on it over the winter, it's gone like uh, concrete. The ground's absolutely solid again, so it needs lifting up. As you can see, the barley's looking a bit yellowy. I think that's more to do with how wet it's been than lack of nitrogen. But we're here. Um, right, booms are out. Pumps in. Uh, we've got auto pressure, section control, um, boom height radars. Let's go. We should be able to switch that on and go. As soon as we get that near our AB line, we put the auto track on. So it'll steer us around the headland. Happy days. We put the steering axle on. We'll hold that button in. Yeah, we're on auto steering now on the sprayer. It's a bit wet up here. You can see the wet patch because the crop's so yellow. And then when we get onto some lighter ground, it's greener. Okay, I finished the barley and I'm on the second wheat now. It's a bit of fun too. Um, but this is like the crop that was most desperate for nitrogen, but it's just the wettest ground to travel on at this farm. So it's quite steep as well, so we'll see how we get on getting up going up and down that hill in a minute. Probably doesn't look very steep on the camera. But it's fine here. I think I did say yesterday that um, SDS are coming up to test the spreader tomorrow. Well, I actually meant Thursday, not Wednesday. Try to turn the camera on. We're going down a really steep bank here. Luckily, I haven't got much weight in the tank. Seems to be going down nice and straight. Which is good. Probably doesn't look very, very steep on the camera, but it feels steep. You can certainly see where I've been. Not so sure you can't miss the tram lines now. I didn't put tram lines in with the drill because I knew I could just put them in with this tractor when I'm spraying. So, just going back for the last tank and then I'll be done here. I'm starving. We're almost home. What is the time? Seven o'clock. Not too bad. I could have gone home earlier, but it would have meant I would have had to take the tractor and sprayer all the way back up there tomorrow to finish it. So, I thought I might as well just stay in. A bit longer and get it done. I suppose nobody's overtaking me. I'm on the straight bet. Pack it in the shed. And I'll see you in the morning. Put the four-wheel drive in. Right, we're in the 155. Uh, the spreader tester guy is here. It's Thursday morning. Hopefully we're not going to get stuck. I've brought a strap, just in case his truck gets stuck. Um, I'm just going to put in a... I'll turn auto track on. I'm just going to put in a AB line. AB line? Put in a tram line for him to place his trays out. It's pretty wet out here. Oh dear. It's not looking great, the grass isn't looking very in very good condition to be honest. It's a bit rubbish. He's just coming out now, look. 
He's going downhill, so he should be fine. Might have to tow him out. Put this spreader into gear. Let's get it started up. We could do a, rem a remote screen in here, really. Because we're going to be trying to do two or three different things on one screen. Alright, that's that started up. We'll put the headland border on. I'm just going to run around the headland because it's the first time I've used it this spring. Set track. New track. Boundary track. Boundary fill. Okay. Save that. That will give us a head, headland um, headland tram line then. And we can run a bit of fertiliser for it before we put it over the trays. We press auto steer now. And turn on. We will, we will spread out 200 kilos to the hectare and we're putting on some nitrogen and potash and sulphur. Um, by the looks things this grass is... Oh shit. <laughs> we're spinning. We did just sink. I washed this tractor the other day and now it's filthy. Why are we spinning all over the place? What a mess. I'm not sure if I should have come out here. Um... Yeah. Oh, I really need to get a remote screen. Why is the steering all over the place? It's the first time I've used the auto steer on it. Right, press resume. It's going from left to right. Why is it doing that? It worked fine when we went straight across the field, didn't it? Now we're away now. Let's zoom out a bit. Oh yeah, it is recording. Can you see my shooting tower? Put that up a couple of weeks ago. I mean, we're oh my days. We're slipping and sliding all over the place. Okay, we'll go back to straight track now. There we go. He's put the trays out. So we're going to drive over the trays and do a tray test. Go back to the spreader screen now. Um, my phone's going off. Um, yeah, we're going to drive over the trays and do a tray test to check the accuracy of the... Let me turn the spinner on. 200 kilos. Doing about 12. Just short of 12k. Uh, yeah, we're driving over the trays to check the accuracy of the spinner um, but he's also done an, uh, an inspection on the spinner it's a bit like an MO, a car's MOT I'll put that back on so we're going to drive over these trays yeah it's a bit like getting your car MOT and you got to get a certificate to say it's all up together been looked after accurate not got any leaks <laughs> well that's why the section control wouldn't work because it was switched off should work now um, yeah, if I can just use the section control, that'll make things a lot easier for just running it on one screen. But I might borrow the remote screen out of the 215 for a bit. So what he's doing now is tipping all the trays into a funnel. I'll get out and show you. Gonna go back to the farm and get two more bags of fertilizer um, and run over the trays again because it didn't work very well. One side was lower than the other, so we're just gonna run back over the trays but go in the opposite way and see what it looks like. Oh, 
Yeah, so we run over the trays again. Um, I'm not sure what I said before. One side, there was more spread on one side than the other, so we just want to double check. Let me turn that on. They're going to work. That was if I switch the discs on. But now we we'll try. There's not much wind either, so it can't be the wind. We'll try and avoid the mud. So you, uh, this here what is a little bit higher in the middle. Yeah. So if you went up to about 15 rather than 10, that move that across there. Oh, will it? Yeah. You think, you think we should change that? Change it to 15. Okay, but it's definitely better than the first definitely one. Definitely better than the first one. You can see it is, but you've got a bit more on here. But the, I think you want a higher disc speed. You want to be 800. 800, okay. All right, so that tested a lot better than the first one. But what he is said to do is to change the delivery system to 15 instead of, oh, wrong button. 15 instead of 10. And run the disc speed at 800. Just throw it a bit harder. Give it a bit more velocity. Right. We're going to do a bit more and try not to get stuck. What I'll do is I'll just finish this field and make that do. It's too wet, really. I'm sliding around all over the place. I'll go back. I, this It was quite important to get this field done because they want to put some ewes and lambs out here when it in a few days, hopefully when it's a bit drier. Um, yeah, I'll maybe go and see if I can put some more liquid in on the wheat. Get some more of that done. I gave the first spinner a quick rinse off. And now I'm going to fill this up with liquid in. But I thought I'd put them side by side. Before, and take a picture. Before I um, fill it up. That's got 600s on the front, that's got 540s. As that's going to be spraying, ideally it wants the 540s on the front of it. But, we shall see. It's travelling quite well out here to be honest actually. It's just that occasionally you find a bit of a soft spot and sink a little bit, but it's fine. Um, yeah, I'll maybe mention to Simon about swapping those front wheels, but I'm not sure we will. I'm not even sure they'll fit. It's just that the spraying track, it makes more sense for the spraying tractor to have the narrower tyres on it, doesn't it? But we'll see. Especially as the backs are narrow. The back end, I'm not sure if you saw in the previous video, the back tyres only measure at 5, they're supposed to be 650s and they only measure at 590. Um, and the six, the fronts are 600s. So the fronts are actually 10 mil wider than the back. So those 540s would go quite well on the front of here, just for him. So hungry, I'm almost finished for the day. I'm gonna go food shopping in a minute and buy something for dinner. Um, but yeah, I haven't got stuck, as you can see. It's gone quite well, actually. I haven't got a massive amount left to do tomorrow. But actually, I've got to go down to Jeremy's and put some on his, but I'm not sure if he wants it this week or next week. We shall see. This is probably our worst uh, block of wheat. Well, it's definitely our worst block of wheat. Oh, was I supposed to get on that tram line? It's definitely our worst block of wheat, and this is probably our worst field. And yeah, it's very patchy. Just, it all just slumps together as soon as you get heavy rain on it. Just walking the dog home. Give him a bit of exercise. Friday morning. I just come in my house to make coffee. Um, sprayer's filling up my fertilizer. I can look on my phone if it'll focus. 
Does it work? No. I can see how much I can see on the screen uh, how much fertilizer is in there. 2,400 liters. So I best be quick. Just looking at the weather forecast on the BBC app. It's absolutely shocking. Rain every day. They keep promising dry next week, dry next week, and it just doesn't seem to be coming. West overall. The model's probably being a little bit pessimistic at the moment. Yes, there will be a lot of cloud, but I think there'll be quite a few days that uh, are dry initially in the week before we start to see uh, some rain moving into western areas, particularly during the second half of the week. So, yeah, it will be dry at times at least. But the TV forecast is slightly better than the phone app, so that's something. But it doesn't, it's not um, it's not settling down high pressure. That's for sure. Desperately need to get some cultivating and drilling done. Just need to get some of these spring crops on the ground. <laughs> Lovely crop of wheat here, that. And then massive bear patch. Where there was. Oh, what's happened with the. Oh, we haven't put the. We put the um, boom radars on. I had it on manual. Um, yeah, bear patch here where there was must have been water lead in the winter. And it's died. Michelin man's coming out in a minute, so we'll see what he's got to say about our tyres. The Michelin man. First lot of using lambs going out in the sunshine. I think Laura said she's going to take a video, so I'll try and put it on next. Just gave the sprayer a quick rinse off to uh, get the fertilizer off it so it doesn't go rusty over the weekend. Um, uh, Michelin Man said they're not the first people to complain about those tyres. They're a new um, a new tyre that Michelin have brought out, designed and brought out, a high speed one. It's specced for 70k, um, and they've had quite a few people complain about the same thing as us that, that it's not as wide as it the tread the footprint is not as wide or well, the tread width is not as wide as what it's written on the side of the tire so yeah they've actually stopped production on that tire until they manage to sort that issue out but um what was the other thing he said that was about it to be honest actually uh, that it's a new tire they stopped um making it until they can sort out the problem and um yeah, he's going to speak to Simon about where, where to go next, whether they're going to put change these tyres and put the old style on. Just going to back the sprayer in the shed and drop it off. And there's loads of mud on the rear axle of this tractor inside the wheels, so I'm going to see if I can dig that out um, before it all goes dry and hard. And maybe wash the tractor. We'll see. I have got spraying to do. I've got loads of Roundup that needs going on some on spring seed beds. Um, but it's quite windy now, <laughs> which is, it was, it's good that we've got the wind because it's drying the ground up a little bit, um, but wind is bad for spraying. Let me get us off. So easy to drop off, just a few pipes and the cable, lift that up. Um, I expect when I'm drilling I'll probably end up putting the, end up putting the sprayer on the 155.
I didn't bother washing the tractor, I just cleaned the windows because it'll only get dirty again next week. Um, yeah, right. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you next week. Hopefully I'll be doing something a bit more interesting than than just um, fertilising. Hopefully we'll get a bit of drilling done sometime soon.